calls to your intake temps, then it's going to have the opposite effect. It'll we'll get you every time. It'll get you every time. All right, this is our Saturday mail for race. 1045. Yeah, I don't know why. I think they always loosen up. Falls today doing Johnny's licensing passes, which is about the most boring thing you could possibly make a video about. But you know, and Phil showed up today, my two favorite imports. They might be my only import friends. Keep the standards high. But they're both here today. I got a feeling they're both gonna be hunting for some single digit passes. So we're gonna cover those guys a little bit today, see if they get her done. Finally, Johnny's gonna have a license. It's been like two years of making two passes and heading home. So I'll get that sent in and we don't have to worry about that anymore. As you've seen, Phil and Miguel both got their nine second slips, took them two passes each. Obviously those are certified imports at this point. So congratulations to those guys. Congratulations Johnny for finally getting a license. Uh, we did get some new parts for the Fairmont and Brian just brought those over. He ended up going with the QA1 tubular K member for it. LS mounts, obviously. Uh, he did. It was supposed to be a streetcar, but I see we, we got the Heim joint stuff here. So, I don't know. He claims streetcar, but I don't know why else he'd get Heim joint suspension, but we'll see how that pans out. So, pretty sweet piece. Fits nice. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of scrubbing to do yet, so 
we're just waiting on the Scott Rod stuff to show up so then Brian can weld that stuff in. I gotta rework this harness a little bit. Then we should be should be ready to start test fitting the motor soon. So I think that's me about it for this week. I got this deadly cold. I'm pretty white from going on the track today, so hopefully pick away on the fairmont a little bit this week, get it ready, and then maybe next week we can set the motor in there and keep moving forward on it.